Aero 2018 in Friedrichshafen, Germany at the global show for light aviation that we love so much. I want to give special thanks to our friends at Bristel Aircraft USA and LSA Aero Marine for helping make this, this video possible. I'm Dan Johnson talking with Pascal Rousseau, who Morning. is the designer of this aircraft, but there's another one before we get to this one. This is the Outback Shock. We, yes. This is the name we know in the United States, and here in Europe it's just the shock. Yes, just the, just the, the shock, correctly. And about three years ago at this show, you released this new airplane yes. uh, to um, people who were so busy under the airplane, over the airplane, in the airplane. It's true. I couldn't get near it to take pictures <laughs> for a while. It was so okay. exciting. In fact, today there are people standing all around looking at this new airplane. So. That was three years ago. Now we come to today, and I see that this is different because it has an engine I know very Correct. well in it. Yes. Tell me what this airplane is, Pascal. Uh, the shock cab, like we call it here in Europe, got a lot of attention by the market. And so my dealers from Europe asked me, okay, Pascal, a nice plane, but we need to sell it in Europe also because uh, we need a lighter version. And okay, we made the lighter version. This is why we call it ultra shock, ultra like ultra light. You understand? And the lighter version means uh, 660 empty basic weight, really? 660 uh, pounds. Pounds? Wow! Yes. For that's of very course, light. without options. Okay, yes, without of options. A plane like this, with the, the turbo engine, with the bush wheels, the slats, everything is about 320, 325 kilograms. Okay. So I think it's about uh, uh, 30 oh. kilograms more than I told you yeah, right now. Yeah, a little over 700, but still for this kind of airplane that's very light. Yes, and for this kind of aerodynamic, because what we really are pushing is the uh, the, um, uh, the low, uh, speed low speed envelope, uh, 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 let me say, uh, help me in English because you are sure, sure. sure understanding me. Understanding me, we want to push in this direction because our customer like the idea to fly very slow and to land everywhere. This so is like, the point. Like your like your beautiful grass. Something like that. <laughs> like Something your grass like that. turf down here. It this is, this like is 30 grass. meters, 90 feet, and this okay. is more than enough to land or take off. <laughs> of course. That's an amazing fact. The boot. You could almost land on this boot Theoretically space. and practically, yes. Very fascinating. Well, yes, I know it's not, it's not intended to be a fast airplane. No. It's about going slow. Yes, exactly. And so that's why you have things like this. I'll move over here. And you have these multiple slats. Exactly. They are pivoting. There is a limit, of course. We decided for some degrees of uh, free, free play. And uh, this is more than enough to get the best from this aerodynamic. We can uh, really fly with this plane below 30 kilometers per hour. 30 kilometers, kilometers per hour. Per hour. This that is means about 20 knots or something. Less, Somewhere in this 20 range. knots is 36 kilometers per hour, so we oh, are so speaking less than about 20 knots. probably 16 <laughs> knots or something like that. I could almost like walk that, that fast. <laughs> and uh, it's interesting about what happens when you stall. The plane has an Im immediate recovery. I mean, uh, if you are flying at about 45 degrees of angle of attack, wow. then you stall, of course, if you insist, and then uh, you lose just a few degrees and the plane immediately is flying again. And it is quite uh, spin-free uh, because we are not able to spin the plane. Sure, right. If, if it goes that slow, it would be very hard to make it go into a spin, even if you try. So if I can tell you something that I hope will sound a little new in this market because okay. everyone tried to make something new. Of course, right. We want to push, because we studied the, the FAA report for the accidents of 2016 okay. and it was published uh, last year and of course the fatalities and everything happens for stall, loss of control, low altitude and the FAA pushed the telling to manufacturers and training school pay attention to this kind of uh, events. Yes. We want to show that the plane can be slow and safe even at low altitude and uh, practically uh, something uh, 
something uh, that you I don't know in English. Sorry, is not That's my okay. language. You're doing very well. Thank uh, you. But uh, I just want to tell that uh, it's you not to possible. Be very safe at the yes, slowest that you speeds. don't get problems without that you you uh, know that you are getting in problems. Yes, right. Uh, this it is, is what I mean. It, if the nose is up so yes, high, yes, because your legs are here. Yes, right. So it's not something that happens without that you want that it happen. Right. And in this case, uh, I think that together with some other options we have in mind, like anti-explosion fuel tanks, of course, airbags, uh, harnesses, sure, sure. angle of attack uh, indicators, I think that uh, we can sell a packet to the customers. That means extra safety. Yes, and that's always worthwhile. Extra safety. This reflects well on your airplane of course. and on this industry of course. and on of flying course. in general. Yes. So it's very important. This is what we want to focus on. I love that you have this focus. But, and safety is important to all pilots. Of course, of course. But as we know, what sells airplanes is performance and, of course. and cool looks. So this airplane with fabric covering. Easy to fix anywhere? Yes, it's an old style technology, you know. We don't need to teach Americans about it because they started with this system. We are just following this road. I love Dacron. In this case, it's Aura Cover. Is a, ah, this, you're using the, Aura Tex? Yes, yeah. Aura Tex okay. is a very light uh, solution. And all together with the Rotex engine and this kind of wing and aerodynamic, you can have a very good performer, agile, because it's light. Yeah. 660 pounds. Yeah, that's light very, very light. And quite powerful, 115 horsepower. You feel the power in this plane. In the video, you can see the climb of the plane. Yeah. And the climb is quite interesting. Titan engine still performs better. Of course, right. That much power is hard to but beat. The, but the takeoff. Probably shorter here because it's light again. It's lighter, and the acceleration is quite immediate. Yes, I'm sure. So I can imagine this plane with a 915 or something yeah. similar could be something that. Uh, so you will look at the 915 looking, at some point, yes, huh? Yes. Yes. We now will this might be very comparable. Then we will install the first one in the end of May. Ah, okay. So, so very soon not too then. Far, not too far. You'll be putting a 915 yes. in this airplane, and, and it will be. I am quite curious. Yes. I'm, uh, well, we all <laughs> will be. So I trust you'll keep us informed yes, about this. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. Uh, is, 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 this is brand new for you. You just finished this, I understand, this, from your uh, this U.S. Is the importer. This is the first one. First this is one. The first okay, one. we're looking at the first one here. That's always great to do on our videos. Yes. On this plane, you can't install the Titan engine because it's not strong enough, the yeah, firewall yeah. The department. The airframe is not made for that no, big engine. No, for the maximum is for the 915. Okay. Well, that's very good. So it's in production now. It's in production and we sold already some of them and some people are waiting for, for okay. the plane. We need to imagine that this plane start uh, from, including the Rotex Turbo, from about uh, 95,000 euro. Okay. 95,000 euro, I mean including Behringer system, ah, really? okay. that is quite expensive. We love those. But they are my friend, but yeah. they are expensive. Yeah, well, they're but the best. They are, they are the best. They're the best. They are so the best. You pay a little bit more for the best. The bush wheels included, the turbo conversion included, the three blade propeller included, carbon seating included, you know, aura cover included. So everything, Oratex, everything included. That's quite complete then for 95,000 yes. euros. It's about $125,000, something like this. The base price is 70. 3,000 uh -huh. euro, the okay. base price. So that's only about 100,000 yes. uh, US dollars, yes. I mean. And the one important thing... And, and, and that includes uh, the, the, the shock special... Absorber. Yes, but this is what I wanted to tell you. There are some fittings. Ah, yes, if okay. someone prefers the triangular standard landing gear, it's possible oh, really? to install the regular landing gear. Ah, okay. Without, uh, but you can inter, inter You can go change. back and forth. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, yes. okay very good. Uh, do you also anticipate this airplane going on floats at some time? Uh, this is why we have also this kind of fittings. I wondered, because that's why because I thought. if you want, it w is easily to install the floats in that configuration. Well, I think this would be a marvelous airplane on floats. I Again, think so. light. I think so. Enough power and I think with so. a 915, more than enough power for Quite floats. Quite a good uh, packet. Yes, I think so. So, in the in Europe, I'm sure you deliver all of them fully built. Uh, Ninety-nine percent. Okay, but in the United States, will you offer, or in other some other countries plus the United States, will you offer a kit version? It is in our plan for next year. Okay. Now, of course, we are today already, is still fully built. Uh, yes, today is still fully built. We will uh, work with our dealer in USA to make uh, the 
uh, applicants, I think is, yes, uh, yeah. you say, for the experimental, uh, yeah, experimental yeah. class, but this plan is for the next year. Okay. So for sure we will push also for the kit market. Well, I've asked you many questions and you've been very patient to answer them. And uh, now I want to give people a chance to reach you on the web. So give us your web address and we'll put it on the screen for everyone. Actually, uh, the only web address we have is zlinhairo.com. Okay. Uh, uh, is the same address. And there uh, we can find your dealers every, in every, every, all the every, other countries yes, exactly. to every, where you sell? Every detail, pictures, even videos, characteristics. And when we say that this plane flies below 30 kilometers per hour, never think that we are lying. <laughs> okay. Because this is exactly the GPS speed without wind. You can find more about all the Zlin airplanes from the Savage to the Bobber to the Outback shock and now this one too and many other affordable air aircraft in the light aircraft space at bydanjohnson.com thanks for joining pascal russo and myself here at arrow thank you very 2018. much